Now on the YouTube, I'm the Tough Man, and welcome back to some more half stacks with myself, the Tough Man. Welcome. So, last episode, guys, we made that, which I actually, I'm still proud of, guys. I really am still proud of this. I think it looks, it's certainly a lot better uh, than what I've done in the past. So, I'm quite happy about how that turned out. I need some lanterns on the front. I need to spruce it up a little bit, but other than that, it's looking great. We can say, oh, I, I already did that last episode. I remember this. Path to the Voom platform, path to the tree farm. These are the things that do need sorting. In fact, let me extend over right away that uh, that spruce farm so that we can, we've got more, more of the stairs along the side here, just so it looks a little bit better. Okay, so those are the stairs done now. That's another job that we can tick off the list of things to, uh, that we've done. I'm really proud of that. I do really like this over there. That's got to be one of the best buildings that I have ever done in my entire existence. Let me be honest, guys. Now, actually, whilst I'm uh, harvesting the farm over here, Vasky actually reached out to me the other day and uh, has asked me to... Um, uh, about the uh, about the 115 version of this pack and sort of moving it over to the 115 version unfortunately that's not going to be possible and the main reason for this is because there's uh, some mods that are just dead that they're, they're not going to get updated to 115 and uh, uh, and that's what's going to cause the issue with this pack now the other issue is and Vasky says to me he said oh would you mind creating over the stuff uh, into a new world and uh, and doing it like that but the fact of the matter is I've done too much i think i've done too much in this world to uh, to go and creative over it into a into a different one just to be able to update the version of the pack i mean it would be love it would be really really nice to play on 115 version but unfortunately like i said guys um i think it's we've, we've just done a little bit too much in this world to give it over so yeah we're going to stay on the 114 version and we'll keep an eye out in the future you never know if we'll do something a bit different later on down the line God, these are noisy as hell. But do give me lots of stuff, though. That much I have got to admit. Right, I've thought of a couple of more jobs uh, that we do need to do. In fact, oh, I'm going to have to do some jobs to be able to free up a job space. Uh, so the first thing that I want to do here is a storage room. Because it, as lovely as it is, uh, putting it into my house over here, the main issue we, we're going to get very soon is everything's going to look a, a bit scruffy. Uh, we need to sort this house out as well at some stage. This looks fine as it is. I will leave that there. Um, but this bit here, I think we're probably better off doing some sort of storage room. And then eventually have it to be auto storage. That would be absolutely, you know, like auto sorting, all that business. That would be pretty awesome to do. Uh, I've never done an auto uh, automatic storage system or anything like that in Minecraft before. So it's going to be brand new on me. I'm going to have to have a look into some of the processes involved in this. Um, but uh, I'm really looking forward to it, actually. I've got way too many wheat seeds for my liking, actually. Let me go and... Uh, let, let me go and compost some of this. Just on my way to go and get some more gravel for these paths that I'm going to be creating. And I completely forgot about this area here. We do need to make this into some sort of XP slash string farm. I don't know whether or not it's worth doing it as an XP farm. Because it's such a pain in the backside as a spider one. Um, but it might be worth doing something just for, for string wise. Um, I haven't been down here either which is... Ah, I need to... I've got lots of stuff to do, basically, guys. I need some gravel first, though, because I want to get those paths done before we do anything else in this uh, in this episode. All right, Mardy. I don't know if I showed you this as well. I've gone around and lit up pretty much everywhere down there and got some diamonds. That's where I, that's where I got my diamonds from, down there. And then I found a few more littering around the place. Um, but this over there... Uh, I I don't know if you've seen it. This oh, this is just incredible. I don't know if you've seen this since I've lit it up. So I thought I'd just show you it really quick. But I'm still looking for gravel. Gravel's been a bit of a pain in the backside for me at the moment. Oh, right above my head. <laughs> Literally right above me. We've got to watch out for this. Ooh, what did I do? That's not what I was meant to do. Stop that. Right. Lovely. Right, I'll grab as much of this as physically possible. Because I am going to use so much... Uh, gravel in this uh, in this series as we go along so I'll grab as much as physically possible and we've got a stack and a bit which is okay I don't suppose uh, it could be more let's be honest but it'll do for the moment that'll do for the two paths that we're going to be creating today all right we've got another path done 
which is around the side of here, which is quite nice. And uh, we've just got to... Oh, for God's sake, don't start with this again. I swear to God. The long grass is, is, is nice, guys. Don't get me wrong. But not when it's next to the path like this. I mean, why? Why? Allow me to place the long grass myself would be would be real nice. There we go. That's not too bad. I can live with this. Uh, and then we sort of spread it around in here. My, I swear to God. And uh, yeah, I haven't quite got enough bone meal to do the rest of this path up to uh, to this point. But as it stands, it doesn't look too bad, guys. It might look a little bit too overgrown for my liking. I might want to come in here and put some more uh, slabs or stones or blocks or whatever it is. In that path to make it look a little bit better but just to finish it off I think we're gonna go in there with some cobblestone steps and just put in the steps that we need right here and also right here there we go and that'll allow us to get up to this place now eventually what I'm gonna have is like a little storage area just a tiny little storage area over here to fight uh, to put all of the wood into um, saves me you know, trying to wander around, trying to find out where it is. Uh, that problem might solve itself when we do the storage room itself. But I'm just going to leave that as it is. And we've done another job there. We just need a little bit more bone meal, uh, which will come eventually with this, with this, because we get a load of bone meal from uh, from this composting actually, which is not too bad. But I'm I'm liking the look of this, guys. This is real good, looking nice. Path to tree farm. That's been achieved. Nice. So up here, in its place, spider farm. Just so I don't forget it again, we'll definitely do something with the spiders that we've got down there. And it might be for XP, it might not be for XP. I, I literally don't know. Now then guys, welcome back to um, this. Now, I'm in my creative world because I wanted to start work on the barn that I discussed uh, on the to-do board. So, as you can see, this is where I did my tower originally in the creative world. I did it in here. I got my little block palette out and decided that this was a good idea. Uh, I then moved on to try and do the barn, and then this was my first attempt. But to be honest, for my first attempt, it wasn't too bad. Uh, however, it was way too small. I mean, look at this. It was way too small. So I decided to go just a one step, uh, one step bigger. This, guys. I mean, how awesome does this look? For, for my building style, for me, building, I think I did a really, really good job with this. I think I did a fantastic job. So you walk in. It's quite airy. Obviously, you've got the really high ceiling that a barn should have. We've got little bits on the side here that uh, that things can go into. Um, it reminds me of barns that were done in... I can't remember which mod pack it was. Uh, but there were particular barns that, that looked very, very similar to this. And this is probably what I've loosely uh, loosely uh, um, designed this on. So you've got that lovely... Uh, the lovely roof, the typical barn roof, which sort of like goes up sharply and then sort of flattens off a little bit and rounds off at the top there, uh, which is nice. I've not, I don't know what, to, this is a big space and I don't know whether or not to put in like windows or something like that uh, over here just to make it look less of a big space. Uh, I've broken up the outside, as you can see, by putting these fence windows in so that these guys have got something to look up, look out to. Uh, and at the back here, we've got a slightly bigger entrance. So really, this should be the front entrance, but uh, never mind. Um, and I've got this here. The, 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 uh, that was my little attempt at, uh, at, at something there. I'm not entirely sure if it really worked. It looks like a, a blooming Jesus Christ's cross. So I'm not sure whether or not I want to go with that one. And then inside, obviously, you've got the second floor, which you tend to, to have on a on a barn. And I've got these created goods here, these beetroot crates and, and stuff like that, that hopefully I can get uh, some of them. I've got hay bales, which I've got access to as well. We've got some barrels up here and just little bits and bobs. And everything's well lit as well over here. So this is what I want to build for my barn and of course being able to put uh, my goodness gracious me I don't know whether or not schematica will allow you to create schematics if that makes sense so because I've already built this once obviously and I don't want to go backwards and forwards between my uh, my my actual world and my creative world all the time trying to find the dimensions of these and try to find what how many blocks that I need and so on and so forth I think what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to add schematica into this and I'm going to see whether or not I can create this as a schematic which means all I have to do is get the blocks together and um, uh, and then I could just put this as a template because obviously I've just built this myself. I'm really, really proud of it. 
but I want to uh, make things life a little bit easier for myself when it goes into uh, the world itself and we can sort of see it in its all, all its glory before we start building it if that makes sense in its place so I'm going to try that out right now and uh, we're going to see how this goes all right guys so it's not going to fit um, it, it's not going to work basically uh, the schematica is just not going to work um, it, it's for 1.12 is the version of Schematica that I was looking at and there, there is another one called Lightmatica or something like that but unfortunately it's for fabric and I have no idea what that is um, so that's the issue that we've got currently um, I think we've got another issue as well I don't think I've sort of like boxed the area out for where this is going to be the only issue with this is obviously it's digging into the hillside and I don't really want to do that as much as I possibly can um, I also think it's a little bit too close to this because I want to obviously I want to come up here and uh, do you know what actually no it might be fine where it is we can have the path sort of going around and in, into the farm uh, into the barn sorry there and then what we could also do is have a little small building or something there that we could put all of our storage stuff in so for, for all of the wood and, and all that sort of stuff that I was good that I was uh, talking about earlier on in this episode so I think right there is probably a good idea the only issue with this guys is obviously uh, i'm going to need to flatten this area um and i'm going to need to get rid of all of the grass and i'm going to need to get the actual measurements for this uh, for this particular build because yeah i'm going to need a lot of stuff <laughs> But necessarily, uh, all of this oak wood, I'm probably going to need a lot of oak wood. And I'm certainly going to need more marble. So I'm going to have to go back down into the mines and get some more marble as well. But first and foremost, first job, let's get this uh, leveled out. It's a new dawn. Let me show you the progress we've got currently. It's not a lot. Let me be quite honest with you guys. It's not a lot of progress. But I did want to come back and actually uh, speak to you guys about uh, some, of the, um, some of the issues that I've been having. So I thought to myself... All right, so I can't use the uh, Schematica mod. What about the replay mod? Maybe I can time lapse what I'm doing here and uh, uh, and show you guys as I'm going along with the time lapse and do it that way. Unfortunately, oh, this is what we've got currently as well, guys. It's looking good. Uh, it's looking nice and flat. And I've somewhat kept the hill at the back here. That's the main aim of that, anyway. Uh, this. Also, the edges of this are, are like literally the edges of the plot. So the actual um, stairs are going to go here. The actual, the frame itself starts here. I made sure to include that in all of this so it doesn't look too hemmed in. Anyways, um, the replay mod, I, I thought to myself, oh, do, I'll, I'll have a look at that. So I went to have a look at the replay mod, guys. And that one is also for the fabric, for this fabric thing whatever it is it doesn't work with forge so i decided to find out exactly what this fabric thing is well apparently fabric is a different thing to forge entirely it's a different mod loader uh, as far as i can get, get my head around it's a different mod loader entirely so it seems that the modding seems to be switching or at least splitting down the middle here and going some are going uh, some people are, are modding for this fabric thing now and some people are modding for forge so you let me know in the comment section, guys, exactly what the heck is going on on that front because I've never heard of this fabric before. It's a, it's it's uh, new on me. Is that all we got from that? Oh, we're missing one, guys. I can't believe it. So yeah, let me know comment section. What the heck is fabric? And what the heck is this rivalry? Where's it come from? All this sort of stuff. Let me know in the comment section. Um. Either or, what I'm going to be doing now, guys, is I'm going to be switching from my half-stack world, my normal Let's Play world, to my creative so that I can get all of these, uh, this framework up and uh, up and running. The first thing, though, is, of course, going to be this, uh, this oak wood frame that we've got here because that one's actually quite... Uh, that one's going to show the, the shape of this for the whole thing. If we, as long as we can get that in, I can somewhat guess about where everything else is going to go in. So, um... Yeah, let's let's get this ready and raring to go. I've got a very very basic layout here where all of the uh, different pillars are going to go. So I've got some measurements uh, that I took um, in my creative world. So I'll go ahead and do this now. So the first thing that we've got to do is make sure that that is uh, four, one, two, three, four upwards, um, and then actually five. Does it want to be like that? I think it's like that because then it goes like that. 
And then this is a lot bigger. Okay, so arguably, this is the more resource-intensive part done and dusted. Uh, this is the general frame of it. Uh, and obviously, it's using actual wood blocks. So I've got seven left here. And I've just... Uh, they're starting to grow back, uh, which is really, really slow. Um, but from here, then, we use what we've got. Uh, we, we Well, we use what we've got, obviously. We need some more spruce. That is first and foremost. We do need more spruce because I need spruce wood for the walls. So let's go and grab as much spruce as we possibly can. And get some more planted up. Ah, here we go. We've got a full spruce uh, forest now. Going to be planted there, which is awesome. We need some marble as well because that is going to be absolutely key uh, for doing the sides. And, and this is a general theme uh, of what the builds we go in with. So wood stone marble and that's basically what we're trying to keep to uh, as much as possible so that's going to look really really nice there that is going to once it's done it's going to look really nice there okay you join me halfway back through uh, this build i say halfway we're probably around about a third <laughs> i don't know why i did that but we're probably around about uh, a third of the way through here so i'm going to start to want to put those uh, stairs in there and my goodness gracious me we're going to need a lot of these oak wood stairs so i've been continuing on uh whacking away at the uh at the oak trees over there and uh yeah i think that once we get the roof up once the roof is on all the other bits can sort of be uh fit, fit and done around that so we need quite a lot of oak wood uh, stairs and we also need some cobblestone stairs and i think we're running out of cobblestone to be quite honest i don't think there's much left of it in here there might be a stack or so uh yeah there's a stack there but i think that's about it oh no i've got another stack here and i've got some cobblestone stairs there we don't need as much uh, as many cobblestone stairs as what we do wood stairs but uh, i'm going to go and give this a try now because we're going to need so many uh, stairs it's absolutely crazy so let me grab all of this change it all into stairs and then start. i really wish we did have a jungle biome near us to be able to do the bamboo because i'm having to like uh, you know do my old nerd polling up there to be able to do my own sort of scaffolding and oh my goodness we actually needed some oak wood some normal oak wood planks as well. But anyways, I'm going to get the uh, roof done now. And once I've done the roof, I'll be back. And we'll see what uh, little bits we need to fix. Well, here we go, guys. The roof is done. And actually, I changed the design up a little bit. When I was going through it, I thought... Uh, I'm going to actually, you could you, you can't really see it from here. But you can see it from, um, from up there. There is actually uh, a cobblestone. Go, uh, uh, this top bit here has a cobblestone going all the way down. You can just see the top of it uh, there. And, and that sort of breaks up that wooden fit feel all the way across there as well. So I changed the design up a little bit. All of this has now been filled in with marble. Everything's looking pretty good. I've got some torches in here keeping everything lit because, it, well, it needs to be at the moment. And the next thing that we need to do is start moving. Um, so... Uh, I can't remember where it was that I put it. I think it was here. And this is where the the second floor is going to be. So this is uh, I think this is pretty much where we've where we did this. Cuz I remember one block being right in the corner there. So I'm going to need a lot more spruce though for this because that's uh, all going to be done out of spruce. I also need fences and once the fences are in, once that floor is in, that needs to be decorated to the top bit, but that doesn't necessarily need to be done uh, right this very second. I also need to put a little bit uh, of the design work in at the back here. Where is it? Uh, the design work at the back here. So I need that little cross design in there as well. And then, of course, I need this uh, fence design. I can do that now, actually. So that's going to be in there as well. And then at the back here... That is going to be in that side as well. And then along the side here, so I could actually, I can just do this right now. Because I'm going to need all the the, uh, the spruce planks I can get. So that's going to be up to there. Don't forget that the the, uh, the, the fences are going to be here. So um, then I think that is, is about whereabouts that uh, is going to be. Yeah, it's right smack bang in the middle of this. Uh, same with this, it needs to be smack bang in the middle of that. So we're going to have a nice little window in there. And then in this side here, that is going to be right there. So 
Hopefully jubbly. And again on the other side as well. And then I'll use all these spruce planks to be able to sort of build out this second floor that we've got going. And we need the ladders and, like I said, the fence work in there as well. Like this. And i tell you something, guys. It's going to look awesome when it's done. And then, of course, we'll get it... Uh, it will we'll get it connected to the path work uh, to the path network that we've got going but that is that is looking pretty awesome guys i am liking that i'm definitely definitely liking this barn what a build it's an absolutely massive build so let me get these la these last bits of oh we need the inside stairs on the on the roof as well actually uh, once i've done that once i've got all of this pretty much finished apart from the decorations once i've got this finished i'll be back all right then guys well i've just got some oak fences to put in on this front part and i've got some oak fences to put in on the sides and i think we are pretty much done with this build we just need to put some details into this a little bit later on with some crates of food and that uh, and all that sort of stuff that you've seen on my other uh my oh my goodness i'm not gonna have enough of this uh of these fences i don't think but yeah if you see in my creative world we had a lot of crates and hay bales and that sort of stuff uh piled in here which we will definitely do um at some stage but i'll probably do something like that in between episodes have i run out of oak wood i do believe i have and i've just gone ahead and and got rid of all of the rest of the stuff hopefully let's see if i've got some at home I do. I do. Oak wood to the rescue. Oh, that looks absolutely fantastic from over here. It looks really, really good. I love it. I absolutely love it. I've done a really good job, if I do say so myself. Um, let's go ahead and grab a load more of this because we're going to need it. This is going to stop our animals from escaping. So where am I going to put the cow farm that I've got? I said that I would definitely move that cow farm into uh, into this barn, which I will. It's not going to be in the barn per se, in inverted commas. Uh, it is going to be in here, but I'm probably going to have it underneath the barn. Um, just so that it doesn't, you know, sour the aesthetic of this, uh, of this entire build. <clears throat> so there we go. That is done to the exact same standard i can't remember what that looked like in my creative world hang on let me have a look really quickly let's go over and see what that looked like in my creative oh no it looks exactly the same uh so as you can see i've got this all lit up with barrels and all this sort of stuff uh, and what have you got I've even got some some bats in here as well but yeah what i'm probably going to do with that cow farm is dig down somewhere I'm not entirely sure where, but I have like a little trap door, maybe somewhere over here. Have a little trap door and then have it in a room uh, underneath the barn. So, you know, uh, so it will uh, it will look good. It will look good alongside with that, hopefully. But do you know what, guys? I'm really proud. I'm honestly really, really proud. There's some details to do at the top there. There's some details to do over at the top there as well. In fact, I'm going to have to... Um, light this up otherwise things are going to spawn over here if i'm not careful so one two three one two three and then one there and then i'm just going to put that one there as well just for the moment again we'll come back we'll do that little cross design that we've got over here but other than that guys i think we're pretty much done with this build it's i, I, I I'm, I'm surprising myself honestly i am surprising myself with what i'm managing to accomplish during uh, this season so let's go over to here because it is going to be the end of the episode i've been building this for hours now so let's go over here it's the end of the episode we're going to give this a quick once over from up here oh, it's all coming together once that path is on here guys and then we sort of you know put some bone meal around there and we extend this area out that oh my goodness i forgot the rest of the uh the cobblestone stairs on the side there i'll do that in between episodes but everything is looking absolutely fine that is a little bit of a letdown i will say but this one is looking beautiful guys it's looking really really well and you can see the cobblestone at the top now uh, and that just breaks it up as well so really really enjoying it so far really really enjoying what i've managed to accomplish but anyway guys that is going to be it for the end of this episode if, can i move out or can i move out so can just there we go uh that is going to be it for the end of this episode i do hope you've enjoyed it if you have please go ahead and leave a like and i'll see you guys next time until then i've been the tough man as always stay safe